at ease. Alright guys, here's the studio briefing for the day. This is a commission for a fellow YouTuber. Uh, this is a Privateer Press Hordes Scorn Warcaster Dominar Rasheth and his retinue of litter bearers. Turned out very well. I'm very pleased with it. This is an example of studio quality or the best I can do at the moment. He wanted to go with a green armor instead of the regular faction red of Scorn Red. I think it turned out pretty well. I didn't, to be honest, I didn't know at first. Of course, green is my favorite color, but still. But I'm pleased with how it turned out. I did introduce some red uh, on the gems and these little whatever those are on the side and then the cushions for the back and then also in the agonizer skin because he wanted to show red and the red in the bruising for the scarring on his on the warcaster skin so uh, hasn't been protected with any kind of coatings yet there's no gloss coat there's no uh, matte varnish on it uh, I want to give uh, Martin the opportunity to like it dislike it uh, I think he's going to be pleased but I don't know you can really see the green right there how it comes from a dark green up to a lighter green he didn't want to get it too bright so it's not too bright uh, I don't know if you can see this or not, but I'm going to pull out right there. He's got a little bread tray right there. There we go. Some grapes in his wine. Or I, I don't know what it is, but I pictured it as bread, so I painted it that way. So let's see if I can get in a little closer here to these guys. Let me adjust the focus. There we go show the back a little better uh, use red some purples there's even a little purple tint on the metal he wanted a didn't want a cork base you know rocky cork base but he did want a rocky base since they're kind of a desert people on his eyes that's a I kind of made them look like they're blind uh, used a very very pale green and then a white iris to to you know like a fog eye that has been blinded or born blind so I think it turned out pretty well there's some purple in there there's yellows like uh, on the arm and on the leg back over there when it comes back around you should be able to see it pretty well put a gold in the uh, palette there then you can see the yellow there just to uh, break it up and add interest yellow on the arm and the reds obviously but I kind of tried to also, uh, I lightened up the bellies on them, and these little, like, they might have been warts, but I could paint them like they were sores, festering sores all over them. I think that adds interest, and then the, unfortunately, the faces are really covered up. Let me turn this back around so you can see this face a little better. It's got some green in there, purple, uh, just a lot of different colors going on. Boy, those eyes really jump out at you this way. They're not, they don't jump out that much <laughs> in real life. But uh, really pleased with how it turned out. Like I said, this is an example of my best work as far as abilities. Well, I hope you like him, buddy. Well, 
This is General Splatten for Splatten Studios. And it's the end of the briefing.